Hey guys, it's Jody. I have a little haul for you today. I actually have this bag full of Fisher Price and Play School and other miscellaneous um, dollhouse people. The gal that I bought this from, she um, always has a booth full of, like this is what she focuses on, dollhouse thing, dollhouse furniture from like Play School, Fisher Price, and um, little little tykes, and then she has some other things too. But she just has tons of this stuff usually, and it's like either it depends on the sale, twenty five cents or fifty cents. So most of these, I think I paid twenty five cents each, or maybe I paid fifty cents, or and it was like three for a dollar. So I have either twenty five or thirty three cents in each of these. But this is a mom. Uh, she's okay. So let's see what we got in here. So to start off, we've got mom. We'll set her back here. And then we have a dad. We've got another dad. This is a baby, as you can see. We have another baby. This is a more from a more recent set. And these ones are all like late 80s, early 90s. Um, I have another toddler. That blonde one is probably the most common to find. These are from the Dream Dollhouse, which is a little bit different. And uh, she's a ballerina, so there's like ballerina accessories and stuff that you could that would go with these. Um, so she does not stand on her own because of that. Here's another Dream Dollhouse one. Here is another toddler. It's a boy and it's pretty, uh, the boys for any girls, anytime you have a girl's toy, if there's a boy involved, the boys are usually less common because the girls don't buy the boy dolls as much, right? And here's another baby. Here's another one of these ballerina girls. Here's another baby. Oh, it's a demon baby. Look, it's heads on backwards. And then we have an Asian mom. She's pretty hard to find. These ones usually have a skirt on. These are the older ones and they had actually fabric skirts and her skirt is missing. And then one more item here. I've got another baby. So this baby and oops, this one back here would go together in a set. Um, as twins. All right, so that's my lot of um, Fisher Price and Play School people. It's a fun lot. Hopefully, it brings back some memories for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye! So as I'm taking pictures of these items, I'm going to um, take note and make sure that I show very well that they have um, paint loss. And that's what I would usually call it as paint loss. In some areas, or like she has some discoloration um, you can kind of tell here from the arms to the body. So I'll also mention that because people aren't always just getting these for play. They collect them too, like anything else. There are some of these listed on eBay for as high as, um, $22 just by yourself without her skirt. But, um, I would probably list this because of the condition and she doesn't have her skirt and whatnot. Uh, for $15 just for her by herself.
Now these two, they are from the same era, but they are actually from different sets. This is from the regular dollhouse set, and she's from the Once Upon a Dream dollhouse set. But they're from the same era. They would most likely be um, purchased by someone who's trying to build an African-American family for their dollhouse. And so I would put them on together separately. They're about maybe uh, $7 for her and maybe 10 for him. I'll probably put them together as a set for 15 These girls would also be like from the, the dream doll house. And um, even though they didn't come this way, I'll sell these two together and I'll just write twins in the title. They're not supposed to be twins, like, you know, in the whatever story of the doll house or whatever, but um, I'll write twins in the title and I'll probably ask maybe 12 to 15 for them. These two together, these little twins, can command about $15 to $20, depending. I'll probably stay, say, start them at $16 or $17, unless I decide to put the furniture that I have with them, and then I'll probably go up to $20, $22. This baby on his own can usually get about $15, um, sometimes down to $10, $10 to $15. This is the dad that goes with him, but I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to put them together because the funny thing about these dollhouse dolls sometimes is, and with a lot of things, putting them as a lot is not always better, um, especially a large lot because sometimes people only want one thing, so they're not going to buy the whole thing. I also always photograph them from the back because people do want to know if there's paint loss. And a lot of times, you know, these get played with a lot. There can be paint loss on their hair and on their head and stuff. And so people will want to see the back and you will get more um, chances of selling if you show the back. What I was saying before is that the girl is very common. Um, the boy is a lot less common and this baby is pretty uncommon. But all of them kind of have some paint loss issues. And so I'm probably going to put them all together as a lot like this, as a family lot, and try and get 20. Uh, now I could sell them individually, um, but, and maybe get a couple dollars more. But to me it's worth it to just do a lot like this and get 20 out of it. So this gal here is a pretty unusual toddler. Um, so I'll get, and again, she's not in perfect condition. I knew that, you know, when I bought these that they weren't perfect, but she's not bad, really just around her shoes. Um, so I will probably get, I'll probably list her at 15 and probably take an offer of down to 12 for her. And then this baby is actually pretty common. And um, I was thinking that the other yellow one was the pair to it. It's not, though. So I'll probably end up listing this for maybe like eight. I would prefer not to list anything under $10, and which is why I got, you know, I wanted to get the other baby to go with it. But um, it was my mistake thinking it was the same one. It's not. So I'll probably list this one by itself and do the eight. And then also the mom that I have, which I thought she went with this baby. And you can see her eyes are different, so she doesn't. She is a redhead, so maybe she'll do a little bit better by herself. I'll try and get 10 out of her. Um, but like I said, it's always better to get, um, to do the pairs, especially on the parents, because they're just not that hard to find. And they made a lot of different parents. So um, they're just a little bit less collectible. And so I will probably list her for about eight as well. Or I might just hang on to some of them because I do come across this gal from time to time at these sales and she might have more. Although I don't like to hang on to things for too long. I used to do that a lot. And I used to have tons of baggies of stuff that I would just hang on to and wait until I found the pairs or whatever. And I just don't do that as much anymore. I'd rather get it out as soon as I can. 
Okay, guys. Well, that's my little tips for selling um, Fisher Price dollhouse folks. I don't usually get the furniture too much unless I get it really cheap and like a big lot that's in good condition because it just doesn't sell for as much anymore. I used to pick it up all the time, but it just doesn't sell for as much anymore um, as the people. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.